fans of Discovery Channel tuning into Gold Rush Season 14 featuring the comeback of Rick and ES are ecstatic about the latest season this time there's a heightened sense of risk intensified drama and a greater bounty of gold making it an enthralling watch. Furthermore, episode 3 titled Hey Parker. It's Rick teases a highly anticipated reunion adding to the excitement. Additionally, it appears that Parker might be striking gold with a streak of good luck. Could he be on to something big? What does Gold Rush Season 14 Episode 3 entail in this episode? Parker's team makes a surprising discovery of gold in an unexpected spot. Meanwhile, Rick after Years of silence approaches Parker. Seeking a favor, he requires a loader. Additionally, Tony urges his son, Mike, to lead the relocation efforts to Indian River. Join us as we delve into the specific highlights in today's sneak. Peak after years of silence, Rick and ES and Parker Schnabel, well known to Gold Rush, enthusiasts for their complicated history, finally. Reconnect Parker had discovered Rick when he was a stand-up bass player for the 35's string band and convinced him to join his crew their relationship. Soward when Rick's ideas clashed with Parker's leading to frequent conflicts eventually Rick formed his own mining team and they grew apart. However, in the preview for the upcoming episode, any previous animosity between them appears to have vanished the tension is replaced by a friendly hug, and Parker expresses his confidence in Rick's return, a sentiment warmly received by Rick. Rick openly acknowledged that he had given his best work to Parker years ago. Parker, in turn, admitted he was at his lowest point during that time, highlighting the immense effort they all put in Rick under deterred and determined is ready to commit once more having put everything on the line despite the past. Differences he seeks a favor from Parker. Now he needs a loader the question. Remains will Parker step up to help his old friend in the preview for Gold Rush. It's evident that Tony Beats misses his. Son Kevin Beats a significant aspect of Gold Rush's appeal lies in observing the miners' interactions and witnessing their skill. Development yet nothing quite compares to Tommy Beats' frustration especially when he has to guide his son Mike Beats into a role previously handled by Kevin. Beats the question lingers, can Mike meet? His father's high standards make sure not to miss the premiere of Gold Rush. Season 14 Episode 3 titled Hey Parker it's Rick airing on Friday, October 13th, at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern on Discovery+. Plus. Many interesting things are waiting for you to discover in this episode. In Gold Rush Season 14 fans witnessed the comeback of Rick NES, who made a significant sacrifice by selling his mother's home to finance this season's mining venture now as Rick embarks on this new chapter fans eagerly anticipate whether there will be a reunion of team rally with the suspense lingering on whether familiar faces from the past will join him once again a significant change in the upcoming season is Rick's decision to form an entirely new team. He revealed that he chose to rebuild his crew from scratch mirroring his fresh start in pursuing his gold mining dreams. During his year off, he took the time to reevaluate every aspect of his life. Surprisingly, he realized that assembling a reliable crew was a pivotal factor. Rick acknowledged this as the most crucial lesson he learned, stating in the past, I placed my trust in people too. Readily, if I was going to commit to this, I wanted to invest more time in finding the right individual rules consequently. Team NES 2023 marks the beginning of a completely new team for him in Gold Rush. Season 14 Despite Rick NES starting a new, there is a consistent presence in his life his steadfast friend is Rick. Disclosed that Z remained by his side, throughout serving as a constant support. When things took a downturn even amidst 
his own responsibilities as a married man with a young child Z stood by Rick. When Rick proposed the idea of venturing back to the Yukon to restart their mining journeys readily joined him. Rick's challenging experiences underscored the significance of having a trustworthy and loyal friend like Z, making an immeasurable difference in his life fans of Gold Rush have been fervently discussing the conspicuous absence of Rick Ness's old crew members in recent seasons particularly during his hiatus in season 13 and subsequent return in season 14 the Reddit forum have been abuzz with questions and speculations reflecting the fans. Curiosity about the behind-the-scenes. Drama many have openly wondered whether financial disputes might be the root cause of the departures pondering if Rick and ES owed money to his former team. Members one fan query delved into whether Rick's abrupt absence in the previous season left a sour taste among his crew leading to strained relationships and the decision by some members such as Brennan Ralt, Cruz Carl, and Carla to not reach join him in the latest mining venture these questions highlighted the intrigue among the fan base as they attempted to decipher the reasons behind the significant changes in the show's dynamic making Rick Ness's return and his new team all the more intriguing for Avid. Viewers previously there were circulating rumors concerning Rick. Ness's crew, particularly Team Rally, members suggesting that some of them might not be returning due to unpaid wages from Discovery in Gold Rush season. Eleven Rick in was noticeably without certain Team Rally members purportedly because Discovery had failed to compensate them. Allegedly, several individuals from Rick's team claimed they hadn't received payment for their participation in Season 10 reports indicate that Rick NES has been actively attempting to resolve this issue investing substantial efforts in numerous phone calls and emails to address the matter the root cause of the non-payment rumor appears to be political. Differences it speculated that tensions arose during the filming of the 10th season due to conflicting political views between Discovery's European millennials and the politically incorrect cheeseheads referring to the Wisconsinites these differences allegedly led to negative energy in strained relations potentially resulting in the unpaid wages.